What are you doing up there? What are you doing? You got fed yesterday. Oh, you want some practice. Oh. Excuse me, do you guys mind sharing? You guys mind? You don't mind, do you? Hey, what's up, Lego? She is the cutest little thing. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm hanging out here with the Cherry Head Tortoises and Darth Maul is out and about. The weather is perfect. It is the Goldilocks hour for turtles and tortoises. These guys are out looking for food, looking for something to eat. Maybe I'll go ahead and uh, head over here to this really nice cactus bush and uh, grab some cactus. And I like to come out <clears throat> this time of day. It's my favorite time of day, really, to kind of hang out and see how everyone's doing. Uh, oh, by the way, Lobo's hanging with everyone. He's my little farm dog, right? You my farm dog? That's my buddy. Now, the cool thing about what's going on here is it is beginning to be Redfoot cherry and cherry head egg laying season. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to George Bernier. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. That is a fun time of the year. It's a good time. And as you can see, these guys love the cactus. I like breaking it because it'll kind of stack up nice. <clears throat> and it also, they can smell it. They just smell that cactus and they go for it. So let's break it. They'll each get a piece. Look, she's gonna come on over here. Come on, Dorothy. Come on, Dorothy Mall. Come on, Darth Mall. Have a little snack. You know you want it. That's right. Now this girl is fantastic. She's a beauty. She's been with me a long time. And in fact, I thought that this tortoise was actually a male. And I'll show you why. Um, I might have mentioned it in other videos. I'm sure I've done that. But cherry head tortoises don't get the wasping, okay, that the redfoot tortoises get. Here's a male. He's had that damaged shell for many, many years. But check this out. I'm gonna gently flip her a little bit. Easy, girl. And look at the underside of her. It's a bit concave. You can kind of see it. She's got kind of a long tail. But uh, to my surprise, after I misidentified her as a male, or, you know, which happens, and uh, what happened is uh, she laid an egg. So there you go. And then over here, if we look at this male, even though he's got this healed up shell, um, check this out. Look at how really concave he is. And he's got a really long tail. So they are definitely... Um, uh, definitely sexually dimorphic, but the females of the cherry heads will have some male characteristics and uh, we'll throw you for a loop. But these two four are having a little snacky and I love it. And that's what they are all about. These guys, as you know, don't get large or maybe you don't know. I don't know. You might be joining us for the first time on this channel. Who knows? But the cool thing is, is that they don't get large. What's going on here? What's going on here? We got some pine needles moved around which usually means it is egg laying season. So we want to come over here because I thought I saw a nice disturbed area and I did. And if I gently poke, let's pull this out and see what we got. What have we, my friends? What have we here? It's an egg. Cool. Cherry head season has begun. That is the coolest. I just gently pull these out. And I don't know when they were laid, so let's mark it with our fingers here. Just wipe it off there. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is quite a large clutch. Look at that. I'm going to have to go get a bucket. Look at that. This is great. All righty. Loving it. And we got another. Wow, five eggs. That's kind of a big clutch for cherry heads. That is pretty darn good. Holy smokes. Can you believe it? Five eggs from one of my females, I don't know which one, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. As long as we get some really beautiful babies, I'm happy. Meanwhile, still doing it. What are you doing up there? What are you doing? You got fed yesterday. You got fed yesterday, yes you did. Yes, oh, you want some cactus, all right. Excuse me, do you guys mind sharing? You guys mind? You don't mind, do you? There's plenty more where this came from. We'll just do this real quick. I can't see his little face, little Petro's face is, uh, you know, sorry, oh, excuse me. Nope, pardon me, get that big one. Okay, check it out. Look at the Petro. Look at the Petro, come on. 
Get your cactus. Get your cactus. There you go. That's a boy. And now Petra, my good girl. She's a good lady. Come on. That's sweet. Yep, I got another one for you. Stay up here. Good deal. Now I got another one for you. Oh, come on. Rip it out. Rip it. Oh, no. Don't worry. Petro. Petro. Here. That's it. All right. A little snack you guys ate yesterday. Let's go grab a little bucket and uh, I'll set these guys up. I'll pull these eggs out of here so nothing gets at them. Rolls them. Stuff like that. And then we'll go over and we'll check on the redfoots just to see what they're doing uh it's cool i love this time of year i love when the eggs i love when the eggs are being laid um it's always exciting guys and when you're a reptile person uh when you get eggs it means you're doing something right you got the right habitats you got the right uh environmental parameters for these animals to reproduce which is fantastic and anytime you're reproducing turtles and tortoises you're doing a good thing because they are some of the most endangered vertebrates collectively uh, they are the most endangered vertebrate uh, out of all the other verte air breathing vertebrates that is and uh, Let's just keep keep them going. So I like doing my captive bred babies here We're gonna just lift and put it in no problem there And then we'll have a walk and see what's going on Over in Redfoot land. All right Let's go over here Again super cool great little guys and they're finishing up that cactus really, really quickly. What do you think, Lobo? You like it? Yeah? Good man. All right, here we go. Oh, it's good having a little buddy with me now. Look, he's a good boy. I love my buddy. And uh, we're just going to walk over here. Hey, what's going on, Redfoot Land? You can see they don't keep that cherry head like the cherry heads do. They get a yellow head after a little while. There's one hanging out there. And when I Oh, my gosh. I fed these guys yesterday. Uh, but when they see me, what are, you, what are they doing, Lobo? Why are you interrupting them, buddy? What are they doing? They're making babies. How cool. What do, you, what do you say, buddy? I love Lobo. He's just so curious about everything. And look at the size. And remember I said wasping? Do you see how the midline here kind of squeezes in on these guys? That's how you could tell a male one of the ways. Here's another male. Again, see it squeezes in there and there. That's called wasping. The females are pleasantly plump. They don't have that, but there's a male. So that's one of the ways you can tell the difference between male and female of the redfoot tortoises. Um, everything's been so beautiful back in here. Look at this, just gorgeous, huh? It's, it's just an amazing place. What are you gonna do, Lobo? Are you gonna be a good boy? Or are you gonna go in the water? It's been warm, but anyway, there is, it's just grown up nicely. Everything's looking good. They get their fresh water right there. I don't know. I haven't really seen anybody digging here. So I'm not really sure we're going to actually find eggs, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a little once over just to check because you never know. I could get lucky, in which case some of you may get lucky when you get a tortoise that was bred and born here at the old camp. Yeah. Let's just check that out. Oh, God, Lobo, you're too funny. Now, this is usually an area where they like to lay, but one thing, I don't know. I, this looks interesting here, but I don't know. Again, it might be a, a little too early for these guys, but I'm gently probing around. Oh, and by the way, my fingernails are green. Did you notice that? They're green because I've been using acroflavin, and acroflavin is a, a drug, or a medicine, rather, for aquatic turtles it helps fight bacteria and it helps fight uh fungus so we're using it um where we got here it's it's nice to treat the water sometime hmm i don't think we're gonna get it oh hey what's up lego here's lego everybody now lego came to me a few years ago and she quickly endeared herself to me she is the cutest little thing and you can tell she's got some metabolic bone disease on this shell that's some really what I would consider very, very bad um, pyramiding and bone disease as her spine is attached to the top of her carapace. You can see it's certainly unlike all the other uh, healthy tortoises out here. I don't know where they went, but the healthy ones do not look like this. Uh, she does eat. She does move. And uh, she is a good girl here. She's a cautionary tale so that people understand that you need to feed these a proper diet in order to raise them up nice and healthy. So my guess 
was that the people who sent her to me, who said she was perfectly healthy, by the way, um, did not understand that this animal needs UVB lighting, needs a proper diet, um, and she was raised indoors her entire life, and they probably didn't do the UVB or a natural diet. Sometimes people will feed these animals dog food, and that is not what they eat. So that's kind of a bummer. But you know what? She's good. She's healthy. She can live here. We love her. We certainly love her. Again, another male. Let's have a look at this male so I can kind of show you folks, besides the wasping, look at the concavity there, huh? And then again, a very, very long tail. And that's what gives us a male redfoot tortoise. And the other thing is when you get a redfoot tortoise or any tortoise and you want to check the health, oh, you got to pick it up. They should feel much heavier than they actually are. Um, so very, very cool tortoises. Now, I want to show you something over here. My plan is that, wow, look at this guy go. He's jumping everything. He used to be a little wimp and couldn't jump. Now he's getting big and he can jump everything. Well, well, good job, boy. Don't get too curious over there. You know what's over there. So right now, Cayman Creek is full of South American species. And Cayman Creek, um, I'm hoping I can get, you know what, I don't trust Lobo. I'm not going to leave these here. Let's bring them in with us. Uh, we wouldn't want to have disasters, right? So just treat them like a puppy, uh, and there you go. Let me open this. Oh, there's uh, Lucifer's out. But we'll come in here. I think I'm going to put a pair of redfoot tortoises in here, but I want, I want these plants to get a little bit more established. I want the ones I want to keep to get more established, but all this little grasses and all these things here, I think it would be cool because the redfoots would eat all those weeds, okay? They'll eat all the weeds, and I think that would be a really cool way to kind of have some land animals using this space as well. And uh, good old Lucifer won't be able to hurt them at all. He wouldn't try. It's just not worth it. Um, so he could just kind of hang out and, um, oh, he's hissing. I know you're hissing, and uh, we don't want to upset you. I just want to show everyone what's going on here with the good old Lucifer. Oh, stop it. Don't be mean. Such a beautiful, beautiful animal. Um, so, yeah, I think it would be really cool. They could walk through this water. They could kind of move about on land. And they could kind of explore this whole place and eat all these little weeds, which would help me. I think it would keep things nice and manicured to a degree. But, um, you know, the reality is... is they will eat some of the other plants. So I've got to uh, let them get established. So maybe in a couple more months we'll do that. But I think that'd be really, really cool uh, to have some tortoises in here. And then of course, uh, in the other section as well. We'll go ahead and put some in here and they can do the exact same thing. I think it would be cool. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that's a good idea? I like having multi-species exhibits. We have about 34 redfoot tortoises back in their enclosure pick that up and um man uh, i think taking a pair uh you know would be kind of cool putting them in here so you let me know what you guys think i like the multi-species exhibits i like seeing things moving around i like utilizing all the space i have uh to kind of spread the animals out it makes them healthier it makes them happier i think it'd be cool let's see something here lobo here lobo What's he on? Hey, come on, boy. Oh, he's on something. We're still working on this, people. It's a, it's a, it's a work in progress. He smells something. My Lobo. Hey. All right, bye, Lobo. Come on. Good boy. That's a good boy. He gets, he gets a little entranced by a smell or a rabbit, but he's such a good guy. Okay, let's see. He just sniffed and moved away. That's good. That's good. I don't really want him to pay too much attention to that. Hey, good dog. Oh my gosh, I love you so much, man. You're so handsome. You're a handsome buddy. So there you have it, everybody. We just hung out. We did something. I didn't even think we would find eggs, but we did. And uh, we learned a little bit about redfoots and cherry heads. Visited with them. So many people think they're a common animal, uh, in which they are. But I still think it's worth spending some time with them, don't you? Just because a tortoise is common doesn't mean it isn't fun. Heck, I love red-eared sliders. Any turtle or tortoise or reptile is interesting, in my opinion. And uh, hey, well... As you can see, things are looking really good here in the old recreation pond. Uh-oh, Sophia's goggles are at the bottom. We're going to have to send a child in to get those. But uh, yeah, man, good stuff. Got some eggs, got some education, and more importantly, 
I got to hang out and enjoy the backyard, the camp, the kids, and I uh, hope you guys did too. So let me know what you think about that Redfoot idea, and uh, I'll see you guys soon, all right? Thanks a lot. Look at these two maniacs. What, what are they doing? What are these two children doing? Oh my gosh, they are in Looney Tunes. You guys are Looney Tunes. Can you see this? Leo is doing a crazy dance. All right, I better end this video and pay attention to those two little lunatics. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.